The Infinix Note series has always been known to be targeted to budget pro phone users that needs an extra level of flexibility and creativity while offering features such as a full HD display and the X Pen. The Infinix Note 7 is the latest in Infinix Note series lineup and it's also the successor to the Infinix Note 6 of last year. But is it still a pro phone? Is it still worthy to be called a Note? What's up guys, it's Victor here again and this is an overview video of the brand new Infinix Note 7. A proper hands-on video will come your way very 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 soon. So if you are new here or maybe you've not, kindly hit the subscribe button just below this video and toggle on the post notification bell icon so that you'll be notified the next time and every other time I post a new video like this one. The Infinix Note 7 is a gorgeous phone to look at. The Note series has always been gorgeous, but this time, they finally decided to go bezel-less with a punch-hole display. They are calling the new design philosophy, inspiring delicate design. This is an overdue upgrade anyway. Still talking about design upgrades, the camera module is now centrally mounted. However, instead of a vertical or squarish arrangement, all four sensors are enclosed in a raised circular section with a quad flash placed below it. I guess they got inspired by the Nokia 7.2 from 2019. Another big and significant design change would be the switch to a side-mounted fingerprint reader on the right side of the device, which also doubles as the power key and I found this type of fingerprint sensors to be extremely fast and convenient. Still on the right side, there is also the volume keys just above the power button or fingerprint sensor. On the left side of the device is a dual SIM and memory card tray with support for dual 4G LTE SIMs. You will find a microphone hole at the bottom edge as well as a headphone jack, a speaker grill and a micro USB port with OTG support and 18 watt fast charging. Unlike other Infinix Note phones before this one, the Infinix Note 7 will not come with an S Pen. So I'm stuck with this question. What is a Note without a pen? On the front, we have the very first Infinix Note phone with a punch hole display. At 6.95 inches, it is the largest Infinix device to date. The Note 7 rocks a standard HD Plus IPS LCD Infinity O display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. This is a major downgrade from the full HD AMOLED panel on the Infinix Note 6 from last year, which is one of the reasons why I think this phone might not be deserving to be called the Note. Powering the Note 7 is the MediaTek Helio G70 CPU along with the Mali G52 GPU assisted by a 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. Now this is an upgrade from the Helio P35 chipset, the 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage used on the Infinix Note 6 of last year. Infinix seems to be very 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 confident and excited about the G70 chipset. They claim it's a 95% upgrade compared with the Helio P35 of the Note 6. The Infinix Note 7 has a 5000mAh cell that is more than enough for a long day of heavy use and it supports 18 watts fast charging. There is a quad camera setup on the back enclosed in a circular upcut that consists of a 48 megapixel main sensor with autofocus, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, another 2 megapixel sensor which I think is for macro shots, a QVGA sensor for low light photography and a quad LED flashlight. On the front, there is a 16 megapixel selfie shooter enclosed in an infinity O punch hole. The camera system will pack features such as super steady action shots, to capture smooth and professional videos with algorithms from VidHance, blur free and focused handheld low light photos, and adjustable background blur portraits. The Infinix Note 7 runs on XOS 6 based on Android version 10. XOS 6.0 brings revolutionary changes with its new exciting features such as a refined and enhanced gestural navigation for an immersive and effortless display experience, and also dark mode. You can also answer calls with a gesture. Simply draw a V gesture in the air to answer calls and then hover over the phone to reject calls. Other features include a live transcribe feature for easy and instant caption anywhere and also Wi-Fi sharing. The phone comes in three colors, dark grey, violent and forest green. About pricing and availability, the Infinix Note 7 is expected to retail at about $170 which is approximately 62,000 Naira. There is also a smaller variant of the Note 7 which is called Note 7 Lite. This one comes with some downgrades like an 8 megapixel selfie camera, 4GB RAM and a rectangular camera mount, a 6.6 inch display, a Helio P22 chipset against the G70 used on the main variant and 10 watts charging. The phones will appear in retail stores very very soon. I guess the current global condition is impeding its arrival. 
talking about the current global condition, please, coronavirus is real. Coronavirus kills. And it's our collective responsibility to make sure that our world is safe. It's our collective responsibility to save ourselves. How do you save yourself? Wash your hands. It's as simple as washing your hands. So, wash your hands. You put your hands under water and you scrub with soap. And that's it. You wash your hands. And you stay at home. Stay at home. Just, it's simple. Stay at home. Stay at home. Watch YouTube. Watch Netflix. If you can't watch Netflix, watch NCA Flix. If you can't watch NCA Flix, watch your children Flix. If you still can't watch your children Flix, have fun, be creative. Look at this guy. Please subscribe if you've not. Like this video if it was helpful and share if you don't mind helping others. Stay home, stay safe guys. I'll see you when I see you in the next one. Everybody kuru kuru, everybody kuru kuru, everybody kuru kuru, everybody kuru kuru.